Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to the week that was. The end is here and it's time to button up. What do I have for you? I have a finished object that I've been working on since 2022. Some interesting items I found buried away. An acquisition and at the end a little gift away. And Magurumi crochet and knitting. So make sure you stay tuned to the end and join in the fun. So let's get started and I'll share with you my items. So first up is my acquisition. Now I was seeing these, a few people have them, but I was watching Laura for Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming and she was really vouching for the virtues of the wool genie. And I thought, you know, I could use one of those for my next big project. She did say where you could buy it in the US, but I did some research and found I could get it in WA and there was a place that would put it on back order and it wasn't on back order very long, maybe a week or two. Then it was in the country and within a week it was delivered to me. The pricing of it was very comparable to the USA and delivery was very reasonable. So here we go. From Yarns for All, I ordered the wool genie Ta -da! it's in this box so it arrived in this lovely purple paper and it was nicely gift wrapped it had the box had all this ribbon on it and inside the parcel was a little envelope with um, a project card for your first project a business card from yarns or for all and a little message, your order made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. Best wishes, Leanne. Isn't that cute? Yarns for All are located in the state of Western Australia, across the other side of the country. One of my home states we lived in when we immigrated from the UK. And yes, very close to where family live. But I didn't ask family to go and check it out. So here is my wool genie. It's still in the package, but I am going to give this a try probably in 2024. I do have some big skeins of yarn that I want to use in my next big project. So that was my acquisition. Really happy with the delivery. I don't like normally like doing back orders because sometimes they take forever, but this was really quick. The minute I said I wanted one, there must have been a few because all the places I checked out in Australia had had them and sold out. So that's my acquisition. My finished object. The end is here. Won't be a moment. My finished object is very big. I don't know when I started on it in 2022. I didn't write down the date. I do know it was then because I carried into 2022. 223 and I have been working on it at randomly when I don't want to think very hard and it is finished with all the ends sewn in so here we go Ta -da! there it is this is my queen size bed scrap blanket of blue grays blacks you know different that's a gray that's a darker gray there were all the scrap balls I had bits off. As you can see, it's just a rectangle. I started with a rectangle and I used more and more scraps. Towards the end, I had to buy a couple of 100 gram skeins. It is all Marvel Four Seasons 8 Ply, which is a spotlight yarn um, that we buy here. 8 Ply being 3 weight DK. And it does normally recommend a 4mm crochet hook, but I actually used a 3.75. And it is for my son, Reeves, who requested a scrap blanket. And these are the colours he has in his room, on his bed. And I thought, I'll try and stick to these colours because I seem to have mountains of these colours. And I have used quite a few shopping my stash and then only having to buy a bit of yarn to finish it it took me the weekend basically to put this little one single crochet border around it in black i think i went out and bought the black and this last blue and some gray and that was it 
No, I didn't buy the grey. I found the grey. I remembered I had it in my stash somewhere. But there you go. Look, I'm having a new washing line put in. For those of you who been with me for a while, you'll remember. If you're new to the channel, just before we went to the UK for holidays, my 30-year-old metal washing line rusted through and fell over. It wasn't a big deal because Rebus would be here looking after the dog and on the patio I have like a wet weather extender line which is big enough for one or two people and a couple of clothes areas and a dryer. But when we got back it wasn't that easy to get a new clothesline. You go in, you order it and you have to wait for it to come up from down south. And it arrived on Friday and I believe by Tuesday it will be finished being installed. And then I could hang the queen size blanket on it, either do a short video or take a photo and show you in its full glory. It is very big and very heavy, but I am really happy I did it. Uh, it's the second one I've done. I do enjoy making a big blanket that is not so much mindless, but I don't have to think about it. I can watch, if I watching something on television that I really like and I don't want to concentrate on the crochet, it is perfect and I highly recommend you do a scrap blanket of some sort even if you just end up giving it to charity. So that was my finished object. Now I have a whip to show you an apology to make. I said I was doing luck of the draw eight which I am and it was being co-hosted by Lynette a charm granny and she's got yarn. Wrong. That's Boggy Creek Blanket collab. Luck of the Draw 8 is being hosted by Lynetta Charm Grammy and Creations by Jax. Jax, I got it wrong. I apologise, Jax. Um, no one pointed it out to me, but I did notice when I was checking out this week's number, I totally had it wrong and I am sincerely sorry. But guys, I'm up done week 5. Reeves picked out the blue and as you can see, before long, I'll have my eight colours for the eight weeks, along with the grey and black as the border or base colour. But it is coming along nice. And because it's not a big lap gan and it's V-stitch, it's another thing I can do when I don't really want to concentrate. Because work was quite busy. It has eased up a bit because the gala dinner... I was planning that was almost 95% planned has now been postponed till April next year due to some of our VIPs not being very well at the moment which is fine you know it just goes on hold the functions booked and yeah it just means April will be busy which suits me because right now I am busy with tertiary education scholarship applications that are coming in because this is when we give away a lot of money to help the young achieve their dreams and go off to university with a bit of a helping financial help to get them through university. So um, the applications are interesting. It's really interesting to see what people or young adults are going to study. In this country, there's a big push for teachers and yeah, I've had a couple of teaching applications come in. They're off to do teaching. So that was my apology and what I've been up to at work. Sort of got sidetracked there. Sorry. I'll, I'll just check my notes. So I said I was going to do a gift away. A gift away because they are going to be little gifts. So I've been doing Amigurumi Wars along with a lot of other people. I hosted my, and I really enjoy it. Our um, CEO and founder of Amigurumi Wars, Anita at y.o.hcrochet is putting it all together. And it's now November and we are coming to a close in December. November is being hosted by Elaine Brown. Now, the, all the links to the channels and everything I'll talk about, per usual, will be in the description below. And you can always jump in just for the month. There's usually a prize for the month, but there is a big prize at the end. What did I think? Well, in October, I really went mad and made quite a few little amigurumi things for amigurumi wars. And I thought, you know what? 
there was a pattern release by Anita at y.o.h crochet and I bought the pattern. I have quite a few of her patterns and I decided I had so many they needed their own folder. So this was the pattern release. I need glasses. It's Nini's Little Monster. Isn't it cute? I don't have these fluoro yarns. They're very difficult to get here. But I have a yarn that I think will make a nice little monster if I get around to it. Because I have promised myself I have an amigurumi on the go that's been going all year that I want to finish. It's not that it's difficult. It's just that it's bobble stitch and it's very hard on my hands. But I do want to finish it. So I have the Ballad Bear. I made her and I think she turned out to be one of the best ones I made. ta -da. And I priced her up because I'm having the craft market this weekend and I'm thinking of selling her to raise funds for charity. There's the Rockstar Bear, which Anita did and gifted me the pattern when I was doing Rock 2022 AU. This was very popular. I have sold that one that I made. I made it in hot pink. I think I'll have to make a few more if I do another crab um, charity store. Now this I'll just colour because I think she had to change the name. Is the jellyfish which she gifted to me. And I've made that. And that when it hangs at my charity store. No one has bought it but they'll go, oh that is awesome. And it's not priced absorbing it they just don't seem to buy it they rave about it this is of course i made this one and i sold this and this is jumping jacks after jack's creations my frog wasn't as good as this but it did sell i've also made miko he's the miko yeti he's miko's yeti miko's anita's dog that sold the one I haven't made, oh, there's a couple. Now, I got Miko's Yeti, um, this one, Jojo's Bee, an avalanche. I won in a prize draw from Charm Grammy Crochet. I actually like winning patterns um, because some of them really take me outside my comfort go zone. And it was because I won those, I started doing more amigurumi. And I, Anita's patterns are so easily written so well done that I firmly believe it's she, along with my friend Ulia, is why I have improved my amigurumi skills and my ballad bear turned out really well. Hello, Madonna. So, yes, this is Jojo's Bee, named after Joe's Web. The only problem is I ordered the black and yellow, but I ordered the wrong yellow and it wouldn't look good. I want this real gold yellow from red heart super saver but it's difficult to get here and i have to pick my time when i buy it in because it's quite expensive but i don't want to make jojo's be with that i get close to that yellow not the yellow that i bought and then of course there's avalanche and i really like this i might make this for christmas because i i may not have those greens but i'm sure i've got white and I could make this for Christmas if I finish the bobble bear. She has other patterns on her Ravelry site. So the gift away for crochet, because there's one for knitting and two, two. Three lucky people who comment under this video go in the drawer. I could have the opportunity to win a Y.O.H crochet. One of these, I will gift it to you through Ravelry. If you don't do Ravelry and you're a lucky winner, we'll work something out with Anita to get the pattern to you. But yes, three people, three individual patterns, especially if you want to do Amigurumi, are my gift away for Amigurumi Wars coming to an end. Now, all you have to do is put in the comment below, crochet Amigurumi, because I do have a little gift away for knitted Amigurumi. Now remember this gift away, sorry, rock the camera again, is open worldwide. You have to be over the age of 18. I will be drawing the prizes on the 15th of November sometime. So I'll close it on the 14th of November, 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time, Australia. So 
amigurumi patterns by y.o.hcrochet. Make sure you check out the link. There might be something else there that you'd like to win. For knitting, well, last week I was given a book by someone who thought I might like it, but I already had a copy from a lovely subscriber who had given me the book either last year or earlier this year. I can't remember when. And I thought, and I did tell the person I really have already been gifted that, but she did say I could put it in my gift away for knitted amigurumi. So there you go. It, I'm just covering up the price sticker. It's cool knitting and it's little knitted amigurumi toys. This is great if you're a beginner and you want to have a go at making some toys with knitting. There is lots you can do on the back and the beauty of it is it's usually a standard body for all of them or most of them with some added extras so it recommends four millimeter knitting needles and three weight dk eight ply yarn if i was going to do it in eight ply i would go down to 3.75 knitting needles go a bit smaller to have a tighter weave i do believe like these knitted amigurumis are really good for babies and toddlers it would be perfect for little man jan the alaskan crafter don't you think maybe you should get into knitting an amigurumi mm, there's a thought anyway guys that's the little gift away for november just a little something for to thank anita for amigurumi wars um, I've had a lot of fun with it. I'm sure a lot of ladies have. I hope it comes back next year, but who knows? It is a lot of work for Anita. That's about it for me. Other than Pink October, I've had the major prize claim, but the two pattern prizes, Dinky Crafts with Jennifer and Emma A, have not claimed their pattern prizes yet, and time is running out. So if you watch their channels or know who they are, shoot them a message. I don't do chasing up. I used to do all that until something got quite too much for me. So yes, if you know who they are, let them know that they've got to claim their pattern prizes. Even if they haven't picked anything yet, at least claim it so I know they want it. Guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you have one crafty day. You could make a ballard bear like me don't you think it's cute i really like this one bye for now oops i'm back again <laughs> i forgot to tell you what i buttoned up well going through my um, craft market stuff getting ready for the markets i have a lot of tea towels some were donated by lovely subscribers because we fundraise for emma's quest and i thank raylene and karen for the tea towels and the toppers because i still have more of those to sell but I also found some tea towels that I had done, but I hadn't put buttons on. This little pile. So I had to find, put buttons on them and price them up. I really like this one. It's very cute. Have a beachy Christmas or merry beachy Christmas. Yeah. The buttons I use for tea towel toppers are generally bought from a thrift or charity shop. About four or five years ago, I bought a big jar of buttons they had the right sizes in, some other odd sizes with lots of colours, and that's what I've been using. I recycle buttons. I don't go out and buy buttons specially. I did make this one because I brought this one back from the UK and I quite liked it. But yes, I will have a lot of tea towels for sale at this charity market, which I have never done before. They were always my number one seller. So let's hope they still are. And let's hope... I actually do sell some of my amigurumi. Bye again. Thanks for watching.